Kids being raised with no father, kids being raised with no mother, kids being raised in the foster care system, kids being raised by their grandparents, kids being raised by their step parents, kids being raised by their damn uncles and aunties. No, God, please, no, no. Can we just stop the madness? Kids are raising themselves these days. Can we stop the madness? The number one reason why these kids are being raised by all of these people instead of their own parents is because you guys keep divorcing. Don't people deserve to be raised by their own parents? And you wonder why people are sitting here depressed and not in a good mood every single day because they have been cheated. Cheating them out of the good life that they deserve. We all as people need to do better. Seek counseling. Just because your life wasn't good because of the things that your parents done or whatever the situation was does not mean the kids that are being born today have to deal with the same stuff that you've dealt with. Let's stop this cycle. Kids come out better when they have their own parents. It is what it is. Being married is not hard. It's just that we're choosing the wrong people to be married to or we're just too goddamn selfish or we don't know what we want so we're just gonna settle. Or the biggest one is we don't know how to communicate. So how about we all just fix all that before we sit here and have some kids and get married in the first place and give these kids a better life. If you don't sit your ass down. Tia Mori is not setting a good example for the single woman at all. All she's doing is showing them that they could just give up when things get tough. Even though it's been 14 years, it does not mean they've been in trouble for 14 years. She just gave up when things got too rough for her. Because as you can see, Corey did not do that at all. And then after that, she's celebrating saying that it's a graduation. What type of example are you setting for the community? If you're going to get a divorce, don't sit here and spread it like it's love. Don't sit here and spread it like it's okay. That is the time you sit there and reflect. Figure out why did it go wrong. Because if you got married, why would you want to not be married? Obviously, you want to be married since you made that big ass commitment. So shouldn't you put more energy and time into figuring out why it didn't work? Put more energy and time and feel like what other methods you could use to make it better? Put more energy and time to show your kids a better example? Because who are they going to look up to? Why the hell would they get married? You want them to sit here and be a baby mother and a baby father? Well, the example that you're setting, that's exactly what might happen. And then you're going to complain because the people that they're choosing is no good. Like the man that they're choosing don't want to marry them. Of course, they're not going to choose someone that's going to marry them because they don't want to be married because they watched you divorce. Marriage is a selfless act. Stop acting like it's all about you and think about the bigger picture, which is the entire family. <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You trip. You know what I've noticed? I've noticed that women don't understand men is why they're getting a divorce. So let's think and let's break this down. So as a woman, your emotions are going crazy because you feel that he's not compatible. But understand, compatibility is not the core of a marriage. Sacrifice, commitment, and respect is what you need. And this is what men have. This is what they think and this is what they feel. If you've noticed, they're not the ones who's pulling the plug. Women are. They are more loyal. They're not going to ruin their marriage all because of their feelings. So who's the real problem? 